So in this lab, uh, we are going to we are going to use the key means clustering uh, to identify treat topics on on right minor. So key means clustering is one type of unsupervised machine learning model, and we can use that one to identify that different clusters that people are talking on Twitter, and However, this is not the best practice to identify topics because we do have a um, topic modeling, which should be better to handle the, to identify the topics from tweets. But here, let's just use King as a simple way to uh, just identify the topics. Uh, so first, let's create a new folder uh, for this lab. So let's call it uh, lab 10. And let's start to collect some tweets. So let's use the search tweet operator. And you have to define your connection. So I already have my connection that I created. Again, if you cannot do this, please check my second, the second lab of this semester where I demo that how you can create create a connection. Uh, so let's say we want query of talk. Let's say we want talk. Uh, search tweets talking about election and we want 1000 tweets okay and let's say we want uh, select some attributes we don't want all the attributes we just want a subset where we want the ID and also the text so text will be the content of those tweets and finally let's say we want to save the result into an Excel file so let's use the right Excel, Excel file operator where you can define, okay, so where do you want to save the results? So I, I'm going to save that into my downloads folder and I call it demo tweets. Okay, uh, so now I just run it. Uh, so it's pretty simple to collect tweets in right minor. Um, if you took my uh, data mining class and you are learned that how you can collect more tweets by using Python. And uh, again, if you have difficulties in collect tweets in right minor, um, you can just use the demo tweets that I provided on Canvas. Okay, so let's save this process and let's call it um, collect tweets. Okay, and now let's start a new process and let's load the collected tweets. So let's import data. Uh, it is saved in my uh, downloads folder. So let's next. So now we have a text and we have IDs, uh, which is great. And um, let's keep next. And let's save our tweets into our lab 10 folder. So we call demo tweets. Okay, so now we have the tweets that collected, uh, roughly about 1,000 tweets uh, talking about uh, elections. Uh, those are the most recent tweets or the most uh, uh, popular tweets. So let's drag tweets into our process. Next, uh, so now let's do some data cleaning. So first, let's convert all the tweets from nominal into text. So let's search to text. Okay, to simplify, let's see we, we want to um, convert all the columns, all the attributes into text. And let's also save this process. So let's call this process uh, cluster tweets. Okay, and next, let's do some data cleaning. So uh, let's use replace function. Uh, the reason that we want to do that, we want to eliminate those URLs in, the, in those tweets because those URLs contain some special characters so that uh, will uh, lower the accuracy. So we say we want to replace the URLs in the text and the replace, we will replace, replace HTTP and slash capital S plus. Okay, so this is something that called regular expression. So that basically that everything that starts with HTTP will be replaced. Okay, so let's look at our data right now. 
So now you can see we have the tweets. And uh, if you go through your tweets, you will see that any URLs now will be eliminated. Uh, you can also try to replace the RT and those F symbols if you like. Um, but for now, we just leave that as it is. And next, let's select the attribute. So let's say we just want to bring the text okay, uh, into our process. And now we have the, um, the text that has been converted into the text format and also we replace the URLs. So let's process our document as we did in the Naive Bay lab. So process document and we need process document from data. So let's select that one. And uh, we are using the TF-IDF uh, vector creation, which is fine. And let's double click. So let's say we want to tokenize the word with um, non-letters. Uh, let's convert everything into uh, lower cases. And let's also fill out those stop words. So those stop words are fre frequently used word but have less meaning. Uh, let's also fill out the tokens. Okay, so that if the word is very long or very small, so that will be ignored. Okay. And let's also say we want to um, we want to exclude uh, the tweets that are used um, very rare and also what are used um, very frequently. Okay, so that is because the reason is because if that is very rare, so there's will be noise. Um, and also if that is extremely popular, so then uh, they may appear to be all the clusters. So that may also not be helpful in the keyming clusterings. Um, so let's just choose the default one. And next, so let's look at how the how our data now look like. So uh, now we just have a bunch of those uh, words, okay, um, and in multiple dimensions. So those are the words in the multiple dimensions. Uh, so here, let's say we want to find out that which words have uh, been mentioned together frequently, okay. So this is the way we can use the key means. So let's type K means. And here you can specify okay, how many clusters do you want. So let's use five. And uh, let's also try to visualize our uh, cluster. So let's bring the cluster visualizer. Okay. Uh, so here we will see our model and also we can visualize our cluster. Um, and let's also see the, the cluster tweets. So, okay. So we create cluster, we visualize the cluster and also we see the original cluster tweets. Uh, see, so let's write. So here you can see those are the original clusters and if you use see the statistics, we can see we have five clusters and the first cluster has most number of the words. And if we go to our models and we can see that, yes, the first cluster has the most number of words, um, followed by the second and also the, followed by the, the, the last one, the fifth, and so and also the second one. Uh, if we look at the central table, so those are the keywords that where they are located. And we can also compare the keyword on this uh, visualization. And however, uh, a more efficient way is that we go to, we go to this cluster model visualizer. Uh, we can see the first one has the most number of the words or the most number of tweets. We, we can see it has male, which uh, 100 smaller, non-official is 100 smaller. Um, for the second cluster, we can see Trump is very big, is very popular, okay. And for this, the third one, we can see uh, bullets and also mail are very popular. Days is also very popular. Um, and for the fourth class, political is it's extremely popular. And also for the last one, the 
N I A L L official is very popular, um, and also which vote are also very popular. Uh, we can also look at the heat map, so we can see for this one the male has a lot of, has been mentioned a lot. Uh, in this cluster, the political has been mentioned a lot. Okay, um, and also the others are, pre are the pretty similar uh, as we saw in the in the models. Okay, uh, so now we have those results and we can visualize those clusters, especially the heat map is pretty nice and also overview is also pretty nice. Um, another way that we may want to look at uh, that if we can create a, a word cloud so that for each single cluster we can see what are the words that has been mentioned a lot in, among those clusters. So what we can do here is that so this is the original output from the clusters. And we can aggregate um, the weights of the, of the values for each single um, word based on the, on the clusters. So let's say aggregate. Here we will use the default one and we want default based on the value type which will be the uh, real okay so we want to ag aggregate the average uh, for the numbers and the default aggregation we want to use average group by so the group by will be clusters okay uh, so let me just um, disable that one so let's see how the result look like okay now we can see that for each single cluster, so what is average uh, scores uh, for the bullet and also for, for Biden and also for the other words. And we can see that in cluster zero, uh, one and also three, we have some mention about Biden. Um, so next we are going to transpose. The result. Okay, uh, so now we see that for each single word, we can see how important they are or how popular they are uh, on those different clusters. So this is class 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so next we are going to clean the uh, this table a little bit so that we can create a nice um, visualization. So the easiest way is that we just go to the turbo prep. Okay, uh, in a turbo prep, we can do something that we can easily clean the data. So, uh, first, let's remove the last row. So you can see the last row is not should not be there. So let's say here, um, go to transform, and we see filter. We see does not equal. So based on the first column, we does not equal to cluster zero. We hit apply. So now the last row has been uh, filled out. So that's that's great. And next, you can see that all those values are now categorical. So we let's select all those columns and let's change the type to be numbers. Okay. And next, let's change the column names. So the first one, which is C1, cluster 1, apply this, let's call it cluster 2, apply. And this, let's call it C3. And C4. And this one, let's call it C5. And the last one, let's call it text. Or keyword okay uh, so now this looks great okay and uh, finally you can see here so those are those each individual keyword but that is uh, wrapped by the average so let's replace those average so let's uh, delete those average uh, and also parentheses so let's replace average and the left uh, parentheses 
And let's replace it one more time. Let's just replace the right parentheses by space. Okay, and so now uh, the table looks pretty much clear. So let's commit, let's transform. All right, so now we have text. Those are the keywords. And we have their scores that in each cluster. So that those are the average TF IDF scores and also the popularities that each single keyword in those clusters. Uh, so now we are ready to create visualizations. So let's go to charts and let's choose the keyword cloud. And the value column will be the text. And let's see for the first cluster, we can see Biden is very popular and also president, days, nights, etc. And we also remember that uh, the cluster one has the most number of tweets. Let's say cluster two is talking about Trump. Okay, Trump is extremely popular in this cluster. And let's see, the third one is talking about male uh, ballots. Um, the fourth one is political. The fifth one is wish, vote. Actually, I'm not sure what does that mean, but that is very, very popular in the third clusters. Uh, sorry, uh, in the last clusters. And you can also export each individual uh, um, word cloud in Drive Miner. Let's say you, if you want to export the last one, so just export as JPEG. Okay. And this I will call it C5. And you can do the same thing for the other clusters. And also perhaps you can also interpret so what does each cluster mean. Okay, so that is a very simple um, process of using uh, tweets that uh, uh, by using cluster, uh, keyming clustering so we can identify the topics of the, those tweets. Okay.